collective reading, collective reading. You are ahead of the game. Why? You are already in 2023. You feel me? You are already in 2023. You are already ahead of the game. Yes, you may be overall not ahead. You may feel like you're behind with so many things that you have to do. But in reality, you are ahead. You are ahead of the momentum. You are ahead of the wave. You are ahead of the vibe. You are ahead, darling. Now, at the time that you watch this, you know, we have about four or three weeks left to the year. You know, if, if you watching this in December 2022, so you are ahead of the game. Like I said, you may necessarily not be ahead, ahead, but I'm saying you have a head. Why? You are ahead. Why? Because you are in this timeline now. The timeline has already started. Not everybody's gonna gonna get the chance to be ahead like this. Some people not gonna start 2023 until the second week of 2023, until the first week of 2023, or until the third week of 2023. You know what I'm saying? We're all on different timelines. But if you watching this, either you nosy or you in the timeline that I'm in. So the people that are with me, we are ahead of the game. We are ahead of the game. So what you do in these next four weeks is very important. The people who are majorly in this timeline, you know, really don't have anything to lose. And not necessarily saying that we're not going to celebrate the holidays, but you know, we're just uh, very tunnel vision right now. So it's like, we don't even, like the holidays don't even matter. You know, like we're gonna enjoy the holidays, we're gonna do the damn thing, but you know, we have tunnel vision right now. That's all I've been getting the past day. You are ahead of the game, 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 you are ahead of the game. So right now, because you are ahead of the game, it's the time to utilize. You needed to be ahead of the game like this. You needed this little like, you know, mm-hmm. You needed this time. We're gonna pull three cards for this collective message. This is gonna be a short one. But you are ahead of the game. Some people didn't know they was ahead of the game, you know? So they were told that they were ahead of the game or they realized that they were ahead of the game. I'm gonna give you an example because I always like to talk about my own personal experiences so people can relate to them. Um, that's my laundry room, by the way. They have to come fix the doors on there. Um, I had a show to do in Chicago now. The things for the show didn't work out. You know, my platform is not big enough in Chicago to where I can, you know, do that yet. But that doesn't mean anything to me. That's just like a task. So anywho, um, I'm still deciding to do something else in Chicago before the year's up. But then... Um, in February is literally New York Fashion Week. So I'm like, wow, I feel like where I'm standing right now, I just, I'm ahead of the game, you know? Like, yeah, maybe I wasn't able to um, completely dominate that opportunity, but I'm definitely very ahead of the game for, you know, this following opportunity. So I may not be able to build the momentum and give it to Chicago, the intention that I have, you know, it would just all have to be New York's, you know? So then it made me realize like, oh my God, like I'm ahead of the game. Usually I'm starting to do stuff like this, you know, um, right there, you know, whatever the case may be, because that's just the way that it happened, not to say much more beyond that. But now where I'm standing right now, I'm like, oh my God, I could totally put this in my motherfucking pocket. You see it? And I am. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pull three cards. We're gonna pull three cards. Oh, the cards is dropping. You see, I don't lie. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. And there's, there's a clock, there's a compass 
on the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. So that's a bonus card because I said I was going to choose three. You see the Wheel of Fortune. The ball is in your court. The tables have turned. You see it? You see it fast, fast. It's a rising momentum. It's a rising momentum because you have started the year early. You have been owed this. You have been owed this. All right, my love, here we go. We're just gonna pull three cards. You see, I'm dead. Wow. Wow. It's like double, it's like you needed this jump start and you also receiving the jump start, but you like, you really needed this new start. This is something that you truly needed. This is something that you truly asked for, you know? And maybe when you asked for it, maybe you didn't ask for it so specifically, but now that you have it, you're like, fuck, wow, that's crazy. This is exactly what I needed in order to, you know, bring it to the next level. I know that's right. Period, period, that, period, up. You've been wasting a little time. You've been procrastinating. You've been emotionally giving into a situation from your past. Bridges have been burned in that situation. That's what has been slowing you down. That's what has been keeping you against the wall. Emotionally, I'm not gonna say that you needed to heal, but you needed to walk away from this situation once and for all. Part of you is still feeling so fucking guilty for shit. Like, no, leave that shit, fuck them. Fuck this, fuck everything. You know, you're here to live out your own personal destiny. You're here to live out your fucking life. <sighs> mm. And last but not least, you know, I see you feel really good with yourself, you know, overall. You feel really, like, amazed by yourself. You feel really grateful for yourself, you know. For you to get ahead of the game, you obviously need, needed to have been doing something right, you know? Everything wasn't just granted to you. So I see that's what you see now, is your emotional strength, you know, that you have, you know, to get to where you are. It's the emotional strength that's like very surprising, you know, to everybody and even yourself. Your emotional strength is surprising to you. Um, I see you're going to be even more comfortable um, towards the end of this month. You know, you're starting this month very like the Mario Kart reading. You see it? Like the Mario Kart reading. Please go and watch the Mario Kart reading. And then now it's like, oh shit, we can see who you really is. You feel me? Now you don't have nobody around you say nothing. None of those people, none of this, none of that. So exactly what you do and how you do it is gonna say everything we need to know about you. So I see that you about to be told on. You about to be told on by your own magnitude. You about to be told on by your own emotional wealth. You about to be told on just by your transparency. You know, people are gonna be able to tell like, whoa, like, They've been over here in a fucking corner and they've developed so much without this, without this, without them, this, the third. So it's gonna show like, look at them and look at them, you know? Look at them and look at them. Not the cards dropping, cards we did not ask for. Uh -uh. That's crazy, I said that because this is the lovers, but this also means that, you know? You got one side that's toxic, low vibrational as fuck, you know, very confusing to you. And then you got the other side that's just like the law of God, literally, literally. Um, right now, I see you overcompensating within some relationships. I need you to let that go. I need you to let that go. Please do not overcompensate. Keep shit halfway. Not that I'm saying um, like be mean or be rude or be distant or nothing like that. Mm -mm. But I'm saying don't overcompensate. You can still give something properly. You know what I'm saying? I have tons of like people that I look after and I make a little bit of, you know, without people feeling any type of way. So much so that all of my clients feel like I'm their best friend. You know, without upsetting anybody else. You see what I'm saying? So don't overcompensate. You can give enough without giving so much of yourself. You know, if you're gonna maintain yourself ahead of the game. Do you hear me? If you're gonna maintain yourself ahead of the game, 
you're gonna have to be careful within your exchange, my darling. All right, baby, I love you, good luck. Um, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. By the way, new crib, period. My wish list is linked in the bio and make sure y'all like all these motherfucking videos before I come up to your motherfucking house.